Hello and welcome to part two of this H3VR modding tutorial. Um, in this part we're going to be setting up our model for our gun and I already f have found a 3D model for the gun uh, so I've downloaded that and we have the files here. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and create a folder for our project. I'm just going to title this one guns and I'm going to make a folder for textures and then I'm going to go ahead go into that folder and uh, for the textures for this gun we have ambient occlusion, color, metalness, normal, and a roughness map and that's what you're going to want because the uh, materials that H3VR uses for its items uh, they expect a metalness and roughness uh, set up. So we'll go ahead and import those. You can see it's importing and we have those in now. Now I'm going to go back out and bring in uh, the actual model. And we can put that in the scene and have a look and we have our, our gun model. I'm going to bring this back to zero and focus it on it. And so the first thing that we're going to end up wanting to do is uh, we're going to want to set up uh, our material for something called alloy. So if I head up and select our material, um, you can see that you can change, uh, you can select alloy in this menu. And what you want is alloy core. That's what uh, pretty much every item in H3VR uh, uses for its material. And the main textures is where uh, we're going to be putting uh, the textures for this material. Um, one thing that you want to do is make sure that the tint is at white, um, just, just because that'll show the color as it is. And then the next thing we want to do is Alloy expects a packed map for one of its textures. So in order to make that, we're going to need to go up to Window, um, Alloy, and then Material Map Packer. Um, in this window, uh, we can take the metallic map, put that in, uh, the ambient occlusion map, and the roughness map. We put those in. I'm going to title this Packed Map, and click Generate. And that should put it right here. You can see we have a strange looking texture. That's our, our packed map now. Um, so now we're going to go select this. I'm going to rename it to uh, Gun Material. And what we can do is I'm going to lock this material uh, in view, head back to our textures, and we want to bring our color into the color field. You can see now we have color. Then I'll bring the packed map into the packed map field, and finally bring the normal over. Um, it's probably going to tell you to fix this, so you just click that button. And now we have a pretty okay looking gun. Um, you can see that there's some shininess to it. Um, what I like to do is I like to delete the directional light and add point lights of my own. Um, let's make sure I have lighting enabled so that you can kind of inspect um, how this material ended up looking. Let's add two lights, make sure that those gizmos are visible. And now you can really see that there's a roughness to it, some parts are shiny. Um, so yeah. Another part that we uh, should look at is um, you want to make sure that the parts of your model are separated. Um, so you can see we have separated uh, fire selector, separated trigger, the stock is all separated into pieces, and the bolt is separated. And you also want to make sure that there isn't uh, missing geometry. I've known ahead of time that there was going to be um, this hole here in the geometry. Um, the, the well uh, here um, has geometry, so that's fine. But for this part, we're actually going to need to uh, patch this up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a plane 
and now we have this plane. Uh, I'm going to unlock that. And we're going to go ahead and scale this plane down. Bring it up. Scale it down. And we're basically going to put this plane in here and color it um, a dark color. This is just a quick and dirty way to uh, make sure that you fill the holes in your geometry. Scale that. Oh. It's a bit fiddly, but. Let's make sure that that extends the whole length. And then if we move this, that's probably about as far as it'll go back. That looks okay. We can go ahead and make sure that it looks fine moving forward. No clipping. And so now what we want to do is we want to go to materials and go ahead and create a, a new material, just a, a default material. Material. Um, I'm going to name this darkness. And we can go over here and give it total darkness, um, set the smoothness to nothing, and disable all of these reflection properties. And then we assign it, and there is a perfectly dark area right there. Um, so that's going to be, that's going to hide the, uh, the hole that we have there. Also, we want to make sure that we remove uh, this mesh collider, because we don't want that uh, in the final build. And yeah, so now the model is set up and ready. Um, it's using alloy textures, and um, all the holes are filled. So in the next part, we're going to be uh, looking at how to import uh, some of the game's uh, already built guns and use that as a base for starting our own gun.